Today we're talking about a firearm that I personally really am in love with. I've got to say it. I am in love with this, this pistol. In fact, it's my everyday carry pistol. Today we're going to talk about the Glock 19. In my opinion, it happens to be one of the best pistols that's out there on the market. It's really versatile. It's got a lot of different features that I like. So let's talk about it a little bit. But first off, we want to make sure that every time we handle our firearms that we're always safe. So I'm going to remove the magazine. Just to show you, I have dummy rounds in the magazine. We're going to move the slide to the rear. We're going to lock it back. I'm going to look inside the chamber. I can physically see that it's empty but I'm also gonna stick my finger in there, don't feel anything at the same time. This is my personal carry Glock. The reason that I like Glock so much is they're simple. I've told you guys before, keeping it simple is the best thing that you can do. Keep it simple. Glock is one of the only pistol setups that's very simple, just like a revolver. It's basically a point and click when it comes to using it. And so there's three safeties that are on this. You have one here on the trigger that stops the trigger from being pulled unless it's actually maneuvered here on the center of the trigger. And then you have two internal safeties. If this gun was locked and loaded and it fell off the Empire State Building and hit the ground, the cement, it would not go off. It doesn't matter how high up in the air it is or how low, it will not go off. I have actually seen a Glock fall fully loaded, ready to go off, and my breath caught as I saw it because I was only about five feet away when a gentleman that I was working with, it fell off the window, the slide went one direction, the lower receiver went another direction, and it had broken up on its rails, but there was still a bullet in the chamber, in the barrel, in the slide, and it had never gone off because the safeties actually worked. That's the number one thing. Again, I can't stress safety enough. You guys know that me and my safety issues it's just, it has to be there. So another thing I like about the Glock is how simple everything is to use on it. It's all put right at your hands. Again, on this side of the safety, or this side of the gun, we have no safeties. It's on the trigger. This is your slide uh, lock back, and this is your magazine release. As you guys can see, I've done some modifications. This is an extended slide release or slide lock back and an extended magazine release. I do that for my own hand manipulations. And then here, the sights, as you can tell from the sights, I have Glock night sights on here so that I can shoot in the dark. I will see them glowing through the tritium. The Glock is probably hands down, in my opinion, one of the most versatile weapons. It can have all kinds of different parts. As you saw, I've already put an extended magazine release an extended slide release onto mine. On the inside, I've worked the trigger over a little bit and put a few different springs in place to make it because it is my carry weapon. They make aftermarket barrels for it. You can replace the barrel, you can replace the calibers. Um, this particular size of weapon, in my opinion, is just about versatile for everything. It's not big, it's not small. I can carry it. My magazine, I have 15 rounds in my magazine, so I'm carrying 15 bullets at any given time for any situation in which I need to have it for. But as an overall carry weapon, it's great, it's versatile. There's so many different pieces to it that you can get. Another piece up here is there's a rail that's along here on the bottom. You can put a miniature laser, you can put a miniature flashlight, you can put all kinds of different things attached to it. They even make supplies for the bottom of the magazine. This magazine floor plate right here is from a company called Tango Down. They're, they make one so that when the magazine is in, it sticks out the bottom just a little bit further than a normal magazine floor plate that came with the pistol. But that way that if I need to get the magazine out, I can push that and if it doesn't flop out like that, I have the, the dummy rounds that are in it are actually pushing that pressure. But if I was to push this and it didn't come out, I can put my thumb on it and strip it out of the gun a lot faster. And it's also bigger for putting it in. The one drawback that I can say for the Glock is the way that it comes out of the box. There's plenty of other pistols that are out there on the market that they, you get them out of the box, they have better components, they have a better trigger pull, they've got better sights, 
all those additional pieces are already on the pistol itself. So if you're buying it, you're going to get a really good pistol other than the Glock out of the box. But the Glock can be upgraded beyond those pistols, whereas those pistols are right at the very height of what they're going to be. They're not going to get any better. We can change this Glock 19. I've set it up for my personal carry, as you can tell. But we could change it and we could make it into a target pistol. We could change it and make it into a long distance pistol if we wanted to. There's multiple accessories that you can do with it. You can change it in any way, shape, or form you want to, but for coming out of the box, it's a little under par. So again, the Glock 19, my all-time favorite weapon for anything. For my home defense, my home carry, this is what I carry on my hip. Again, I'm Chris with DGX. Thanks for listening. And remember to the KISS principle, keep it simple. We'll talk to you soon.